to get a picture of the cakes. I think they should be discarded. There's a limit. Welcome to you all to the official lighting of Newtown Creek's Digest for Eggs. It's a good thing you're all familiar with Newtown Creek or you'd wonder what on earth I was talking about, Digest for Eggs. In just a few minutes, our plant operators will flip a switch, perhaps they already have, and these massive engineering marvels will be bathed in light, landmarks visible from vantage points throughout the city. As many of you know, Newtown Creek is the largest wastewater treatment plant and is currently undergoing what I'm sure seems to many of you like an endless upgrade so that we can continue to improve the quality of the city's waterways, one key goal of Mayor Bloomberg's Plan YC initiative. In many cities throughout the world, enormous infrastructure like Newtown Creek is built outside the city or in desolate industrial zones with few residents or businesses anywhere nearby. In New York, however, with its densely built residential environment, such division between public infrastructure and public and private lives is not possible. And New York wouldn't be New York without all kinds of activities bumping up against each other. In New York City, every resident lives side by side with one or more of the important processes that undergird city life. This can be a problem, but at Newtown Creek, working with the Newtown Creek Monitoring Committee, we're proving that it can also be an opportunity Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, nos amis français, je voudrais dire bonsoir et bienvenue à Greenpoint, Brooklyn. <laughs> voilà les œufs magnifiques. <laughs> Behold the magnificent eggs. In addition to the unique history of Greenpoint, we are now home to the largest eggs in New York City. Given this momentous occasion, I would like to pose a philosophical question. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? In the context of this vast modern city, we might answer the question by saying it was the biological activity that came first. And we all know that in a city of 8 million people, it generates a mammoth amount of biological activity. With that in mind, we extend our sincere thanks to the New York City Department of Environmental Protection for dealing with all that biological activity. We are truly grateful to Commissioner Lloyd and the Department of Environmental Protection that they have undertaken this significant upgrade project, which we hope will address many long-standing issues related to this water pollution control plant. However, I would be lying if I said we were happy to host this plant. We would like to thank the artist Hervé Descartes and Le Grivetoire International for the exquisite lighting, which will send a message to the community and the city at large that our quality of life is important. The lighting is an elegant symbol that we are happy to have in this neighborhood. As beautiful as the lights are, so are the eggs, the digesters themselves, the new blower wing, this nature walk we are standing on, and many other new buildings. In 10 years, this will be a sharp looking plant. In addition to looking good, we have been promised that the plant will function beyond expectations. It is said that a car is only as good as its driver. In this case, we may have the best looking water pollution control plant in the world, but without the right people at the controls, it won't be worth very much. For many years, the plant manager, Jimmy Pinn, has been a source of comfort and confidence. A much-deserved thanks goes to Jimmy Pinn. 
Now one final question. What will this plant be like in 10 years? This is an important question to the Greenpoint community. The Newtown Creek Monitoring Committee was established to monitor the impacts of this project, but we also serve as the collective memory of promises made by the Department of Environmental Protection, promises of amenities and improvement for the Greenpoint community. The Nature Walk is one example, but it is not complete. It may not be complete for another 10 years, but even if it takes 10 years, the Newtown Creek Monitoring Committee will make sure that promises remembered are promises kept. The NICMIC may be cranky at times, but we all recognize the necessity of this plant, and in 10 years, we hope to be proud as well as happy to host this plant. So on behalf of the other co-chair, Irene Klementovich, and other NICMIC members, Marie Chambers, Laura Hoffman, Mike Hoffman, Paul Pulo, Dorothy Swick, Evan Theus, and our community liaison, Christine Hollowitz, and our technical advisors, Maddie Stanislaus and Laura Kortner, I say thank you, merci, we will be waiting. May the light lead our way. overall project was to give an identity to the plant, an identity connected to the blue and the white. Blue because it has a sense of calm and clean and softness, which also at night has a sense of glowing and also be very different, like contrasting with the city, which most of the light is uh, more on the amberish or very bright white. What did it want to see? It's to organize the plant, give an order to the light, and give always a touch of blue, like a little bit like accent. But with those digester, it was more than an accent. It was uh, uh, to celebrate them, to, uh, to give them like uh, a dream at night. Like maybe at night they have a, a special life. They, uh, during the day, they reflect the light. They're very bright. They stand still, so they're shiny. But at night, they, you discover another part. The light comes from behind. You just see the shade. They glow, and you have this very bright and blue light in, 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 in the back. And they're anchoring. Also, at the time when we start working on the project, it was uh, the beginning of PS1. And I think the connection with uh, the culture in Brooklyn is very important. Yeah. How we start to connect. Brooklyn is not uh, it's a part of New York. It has to be a life like New York City. It's uh, what we like also about New York. to be Brooklyn. Because uh, it's getting clean on the other side, too clean on the other side of the, of the river, so it's good. Like, you'll see some action here. So that's nice. <laughs> and, uh, but this action is a part of it, it's part of life, and uh, that's true. It's, uh, it's a very strong landmark. We will definitely have a, a beautiful visibility at night from the top of the Empire State Building. You will see this blue field soft. Blowing. When you go to the airport, when you take the big tree, when you commit, uh, commute, you will see it on your way in and way out. I think it's... Uh